hello what's up friends my name's lauren welcome to my channel and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back friends um today i'm going to be doing um a video just telling you guys how my market went what sold at my market what didn't sell um and just you know all about market so i'm just gonna start out by telling you guys no i'm gonna start out by showing you guys what i have left so i'm just gonna start pulling things out of my basket so we got this scarf that didn't sell i've had this made since the end of last year sometime which isn't super long but it just hasn't sold i will probably start taking um my wintry stuff out of my market even though i mean it Maybe I won't take them out of my market, but I'm going to take them out of my booth. All except for, like, my, um, baby beanies. Because people buy baby beanies year-round because babies are being born year-round. Um, so I will leave those, but, like, the scarves and the adult beanies and stuff like that, I'm going to go ahead and take out of my booth because it's not winter anymore. We, we're still having cold days here. But it's about to be spring and summer, and it gets really hot here, so nobody's going to be buying that. Um, okay, and then I also have my star blanket left. I've had this thing for a long time. I need to get it sold. My big crib-sized blanket, again, did not sell. Even at $50, it's not selling. So what I'm going to do is when I set up um, like my Etsy account, because I do plan on doing that soon. I'm gonna put that on there and I'm gonna put it back at full price because it's worth so much more than $50. It is, hi Addy. Hi. What are you doing? Where'd it go? Where'd what go? Where's my helmet go? Your helmet, is it in your tent? Yep. Yep, okay, I love you. Okay, anyway, it's worth so much more than $50. It is definitely worth probably more than the $75 that I had it priced at originally. But as people say, the right person will buy your products at no matter what price you price it at. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not going to start undercutting myself just because things aren't selling. Because that's not fair to me. Uh, it's not fair to the time that I put into things. And yeah, so that that's my plan. Etsy, coming soon. <laughs> um, I do have this left still. I did not think it was going to sell. It, it hasn't sold. I do plan on donating this. Like actually going and, and donating it somewhere. Maybe I'll take it up to the nursing home that I used to work at. I think this would be nice. Um... For somebody to use so I think I'll do that um, this coming week I'm not gonna try to sell this I'm just gonna go take it up there there's probably a few things that I could take to the nursing home um, I used to be a CNA but I haven't been in a while all right so I had one mushroom little mushy as I call them left um, the rest of them sold, which, I mean, I thought all of them would sell, but they did not. I still have my mushroom rattle left. I am so surprised that this hasn't sold yet. Like, I'm actually really sad about it because it, it's just so cute. Like, what in the world? Why? Um, but I do have another market coming up, so I will be taking this again to the market. I have one turtle left, so I have this sunflower turtle left, the Valentine's Day turtle sold, and I'm hoping this one will sell at the next market, but if not, it'll be going into my Etsy shop as well. I had the only chunky, like, plush bee that I made left. I'm selling these for 18. I'm wondering if I need to go down to 15, but I don't think I do because these sell for 18 for other people. So 
the right person will buy it. I had my snake left. I had a lot of kids that wanted to buy this, but when the parents heard $30, they were like, no way. But once again, it is definitely worth $30. Um, so the right person will come along eventually. Um, I started on another snake, but I only am still about halfway through it. I worked on it at the market, but I didn't finish it because we were, um, talking a lot during the market to people. Um, so I had one Octo left, one blue Octo. I had both of the eggs left, which really surprised me. Um, but you know, they will sell eventually, I am sure. And I'm going to make some more for, um... The next market coming up so i will have more of these i also had i don't know i didn't show this in my last video because i didn't have i forgot about it until the night before the market and <laughs> i filmed the day of the market i mean the day day before the market but that night i remembered that i had this top that i made and forgot to show you guys so I made this top last summer and I'm thinking it will probably sell this summer at some point. Um, but there wasn't really like the crowd there that would buy something like this. So I took this and I sell these for $30 I think which honestly are probably worth a lot more. But I made this a long time ago and priced it a long time ago so I wasn't really thinking about that. So that didn't sell. I had two ear warmers left, which are the only ear warmers that I took. I had all of all of the beanies and hats that I took didn't sell. So I have all of those left. So all of these baby beanies are still left. I'll try to get that out of the frame. The new one that I made is still left. Um I had two of these beanies that are adult size. The two bucket hats are still left. So maybe those will sell eventually. We shall see. And I think the only thing else that I had left was my hedgehog. Poor little hedgy, just nobody wants him gonna end up just keeping this little guy <laughs> like he's so cute but um yes so that is all that I had left for the market I did not finish the cow um and I did not finish the snake so yes fun times all right so now I'm gonna tell you guys what sold I don't know what order they sold in um because I, d I didn't keep track of that but I just kept track of what all sold so, in addition to crochet items, I also had freshies, car freshies, because I make those as well. Um, and I took, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I took nine, and I sold six of them. Um, and they ranged from, like, 10 to $12, so I made about 60-some-odd dollars off of those, maybe 70 um, so that was really good. And then my crochet items that I took for this market, I sold, I sold the last chocolate covered strawberry that I had left. Um, and then I sold all of my leggy froggies, all five, I think I took five, one, two, three, four, five, ooh, one, two, three, four, five, yes, all five, I sold those. I sold a, okay, so I sold two Octos to the same person, and that was the first order that, um, or the first purchase that we had. It was the blue Octo and the pink Octo, and those went together. Um, I sold a red mushy, a green mushy, and so I only have the blue one left. I sold all three of the baby bees that I took, so like the smaller version of that big plush bee. All three of those. Was that it? That can't be it. Is that all that I sold? Oh, 
the Valentine Turtle, and um, my Heart Coaster set. I think that might be it. Is that I ended up making $267, which is great because I hit my goal. Um, and 50 of that was, you know, making up for the vending fee. So, all in all, profit-wise, we made $217, I think. Um, we also bought a couple of, like, tablecloths for the tables at the dollar store before we set up. So, like, $215. We'll say $210 just to be safe. So, $210 profit, which is really good, especially for the first time that this event happened um and I also didn't have as much stuff as I wanted to have made so I think $210 profit is great for a day like I'm not complaining uh I've I have another market excuse me I'm I'm like kind of getting sick I guess I'm always sick in these videos if you guys haven't noticed I'm so sorry <laughs> um but we have another market coming up not this Saturday tomorrow but next Saturday on the 25th so I've been working on stuff for that I'm also working on orders so once again life is hectic it's but it's fun that way it's good I'm fine with it um so I'm just gonna keep working on stuff for that and then I will make another video showing you guys everything that I made for that market and how that market goes so stay tuned and thank you guys so much for watching if you guys do like these kinds of videos don't forget to like subscribe comment on this video telling me that you want to see more of these videos um and I will see you guys very soon bye